Hi everyone, it's Stephanie Thompson. Welcome back to Read Your Library. Looking at the next book on our shelf of Middle Eastern and uh, Arab world um, history and related subjects, um, we come to a book that I picked up because being Lebanese by birth, I was really trying to find out more and learn more about the history of my country and uh, the region and why it's in the position it's in today the sources of some of the conflicts and other things that have happened in Lebanon. And I came across this book that was recommended many times, A House of Many Mansions by Kamal Salibi. Um, he uh, is a historian. He was. He's dead now, but a very well-known, prominent historian, born in Lebanon, educated at uh, the American University of Beirut, and he was a professor there. He wrote many books about Lebanese history, and this one is really considered by many people to be a very good um, fairly neutral look at the history of Lebanon, but specifically what Salibi looks at is uh, his, his central thesis is that unless all the different groups that make up uh, the country of Lebanon can come to a, an agreement on what their history is, it's very difficult to then move forward and um, get past the various conflicts and other things that have happened that have held Lebanon back from uh, being the real paradise on earth that it could be. Uh, the Many Mansions refers to, of course, all the different factions, political, religious, so social, ethnic, that make up Lebanon, primarily um, le religious in that there are these different sects that the population is divided into, Sunnis, Shiites on the Muslim side, Druze and um, Christians, especially Maronites. So what Salibi looks at is what each of those groups think their history is and the history of the country is, how they differ, what the source of conflict is between them, and how that affects Lebanon's modern history and development. I should say this book was published in 1988, so it is a bit outdated in the sense that it doesn't take into account some of the more significant events of course, that happened after its publication. But the central thesis, I think, still holds. It's very interesting. It's a very dense book. There's lots of detail in it. It's easy to get bogged down in it. But there's certainly, I don't think, anyone more knowledgeable um, and who has shown to be a really kind of neutral observer and uh, um, a person who does analysis of Lebanon's history than the late Kamal Salibi. So if you really want to get dug into it, I would recommend it. And uh, thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time on Read Your Library.